Namaste, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about taking care of your wrist health and your forearms, those painful forearms after long working hours on the computer, tablets and also scrolling on your phone. So let's get started. The number one thing you can do to improve your wrist health is improve on your positions while you're working. So that means your position while you are working on your desk, make sure that the chair is aligned, make sure the distance um, of your chair is adequate from the desk, your elbows are supported. So try to find as much support and ergonomically try to figure out the best possible position where your back is straight, you're not sinking in your shoulders or your back and you are relaxed and even your forearms are supported. Also, notice that there are a lot of positions in yoga and mat pilates which are done on the wrists. But that's not really necessary. You don't have to do all the exercises on the wrists. If your wrists are already hurting, don't do that. You can always switch to a position where you can do the same posture in elbow or some other form where your wrists are not compromised and they are not stressed out. So if you're doing any yoga or pilates uh, where you are coming onto your wrist to do something like fire hydrant say um, now in this position your wrists are hurting what you can always do is come down and come into um, a kneeling position on your elbows and repeat the same thing it's gonna feel much more comfortable second thing is phone usage i think i did make a reel on it also but again i'm reiterating try to limit your screen time but if unfortunately there isn't an option uh, to limit your screen time what you can do to improve your situation is that you use as much support as you can use around your wrists uh, and also support your forearms as much as you can while you're using your phone last but not the least is strengthening the wrists and releasing the muscles around it so as you come onto your mat the first thing to do is find a comfortable position where you can sit up with your spine straight now this position can be sitting cross leg in sukhasana like this or or finding a comfortable position in vajrasana like this or if this is also not comfortable and you have really tight hips and hamstrings and quadriceps then Find a pillow and try to sit however you can comfortably with your sit bones planted, your back straight on the pillow. So whichever position you're in, make sure that your jaw is relaxed, your neck is relaxed, your back is straight, your shoulders are down and relaxed. So the first thing we're going to start off is making figure eights with your wrists. So interlace your fingers like this and make figure eights like so. We will be moving in both the directions and you know, you will always notice that one direction is harder than the others. But um, this is what we'll be doing. So it's basically just warming up the wrist, making um, the rotation in every direction. Now, if you start off with this much movement, it's fine. Gradually try to go into the full motion. So what we'll do is we'll repeat this five times in each direction. If you notice one direction is harder for me and that's going to be for you as well and that's completely okay. next what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our fingers like so so basically you're trying to move each finger completely try to spread your palms as much as you can just try to do that if this feels or hurts a little bit on um, on your elbows that's fine that means you know you're releasing the right muscles ne next we're gonna be doing reverse prayer pose how you do that is this is prayer pose and then we're gonna flip our hands over reverse it and bring it back let's see that one more time flip reverse it and bring it back so we're gonna do this five times And reverse the direction so I'm gonna bring it forward and back now 
and after that you'll feel that your wrists are going to feel a little lighter and that's a good sign so next what we'll be doing is we're going to be stretching on our fingers how we'll do that let's start let's assume uh, i write from my left hand so i'm going to start with my left hand first because this stress is more so what you're going to do is spread out your palms like this and we'll start with the thumb so you're going to pull the thumb towards the wrist as much as you can comfortably and if there will be a slight pain or pinch and that's completely okay you're going to release it and then i'm going to press the index finger down and as i do this i'm going to try to get a grip of my thumb and my middle finger ring finger okay so and we will be repeating the same thing on the other side as well so on my right hand i'm going to press the thumb down release it and then press the index finger down touch on to the others press the middle finger down touch with the others press the ring finger down touch with the others this is going to be hard this does hurt at some places and that's a good thing after you've done this shake your palms really well like shake it 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 another good uh, release that i like is really catching your wrist by really pressing this one down and making a fist here and doing some rotations now you might hear some cracking sound and that's again perfect uh do it in both the direct if you have carpal tunnel syndrome this is really helpful and relaxing let's repeat on the other side as well so really press it down if it's not hurting you that means you're kind of doing something wrong so if it 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 hurts somewhere here that means everything's kind of going in the direction that it should go uh let's rotate five times on each side really press yourself down if you hear some cracks and clicks that's just fine now once you've done that interlace your fingers reverse find that deep stretch now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it up find that stretch so basically what i'm going to do is press my shoulder blades away from my ears lift my chest up as i press my arms up and press up press up press up and gently release come back to center one more thing we'll be doing in the same position we're going to lift our hands up and we're going to shake our palms and rotate in every direction now if you can do that with your uh, elbows straight it's great if you get tired you can bring them to the side keep shaking rotating in every direction opposite direction warm up the wrist nicely and now let's come back to the mat and do some wrist strengthening exercises and stretches on the mat so coming on all fours position find yourself curl your toes at the back coming into all four positions make sure that your wrist is exactly below the shoulder and make sure that your knees are 90 degree and your knees are exactly below your hips so we'll come into this position and first try to find the full palm so you're not focused all your weight here you're distributing your weight between the fingers middle of the palm and this so you can do a little bit of spidey fingers that should be okay Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes neutralize my shoulders and I'm going to take a few circles so just going in each direction three times in each direction Just feel how you're feeling on your wrist just get your awareness on to the wrist muscles now Last one time Now one easy exercise I like to do here is to flip my fingers to face the knees. Now this um if your wrists are really tight, your forearm is really tight, this might take a while to get through but just take your time to do this, okay? So now I'm going to internally rotate the elbows as if I'm trying to bring the armpits together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my weight forward, bring my wrists over the shoulders and then gradually drop back down as far as possible if you're here it's fine if you can go all the way try to press the palms down into the mat as you go down so i'm going to show it to you from the side and a detailed angle as well and now in the same position we're going to be doing some cat cows um so inhale drop the chest down bring your shoulders over exhaling arch the back belly button to spine bring your bring your hips all the way back again inhale drop the chest down come forward 
exhale arch back belly button to spine inhale drop the chest down come forward internally rotate the elbows exhale drop the chest down now we come back to neutral position I'm gonna flip the palms flip the fingers to face the knees palms facing upwards I'm gonna take a few circles here now this could be hard depending on uh, your forearm flexibility if it's too painful don't do it but if you can just take a few circles here again sit back shake your palms Now at the end of the practice, try doing any of the exercises that we did before again and you will feel the difference. If you try to do figure eights or try to do palms in every direction, you would notice that they feel more free. They also feel more fluid and it's easier to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. Do try these exercises, do try these tips out and I hope you have better and healthier wrists and you can do all your workout flawlessly and still have a lot of energy to work on your computer and your screens. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and I shall see you next time. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Namaste. Maya. Come here. <laughs> look into the camera, Maya. Look into the camera. Wake up for a second. Wake up for a second. Can you look into the camera? Okay, no.